Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees. And all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Hi there, good morning from the Pyrenees. Good morning. Just to uh, recap, um, I'm Ian and this is Julie and um, we're building our off-grid container home here in the French Pyrenees but starting off with the most important thing, the workshop and garage. Oh, and uh, in the past uh, few videos you've seen us digging out the footings, laying the footings, putting in all the rebar and putting in the, uh, the first course of uh, block work. We are carrying on with all of that today, hopefully going to be finishing it off in this video. Um, so we have more metal work, more block work and lots of concrete filling to do. We got um, another delivery, uh, we ran out of supplies. Uh, we're doing all of this concrete work uh, ourselves, so I, the first sort of set of supplies i just wanted to see how far it went because i'm not a quantity surveyor i've never done this before um so now we know how much we need i got a truckload of that yesterday and uh yep we've got enough to be getting on with so uh let's get on with this and get more blocks on We worked quite late um, yesterday after the delivery came. We just couldn't resist finishing this last little section of the wall, um, which now means Ian can get on, set the vertical rebar, and then uh, horizontal rebar, and then we'll continue with the vertical rebar. And hopefully later this afternoon, we can start stacking the next layers of um, concrete block. Very technical method here. In my big boots, I can do this. And this is where we join in the next row of rebar to continue along but we need to build the wall up first right the grand reveal for my first bit of um, wood forming Where we have a little gap in the wall that's too small to fit another block in, Ian's just prepared two boards which we're going to use as forms and I'm just going to thread these wires through. Ian's the other side of the wall um, to join them and that is how we're going to block the hole before pouring in the um, prepared cement. for a concrete pump. Look 
can laugh, Mr. Wright. <laughs> he thinks this is hilarious. Oh, it's getting tiring. I'm missing the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the target. Da, 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 Yep. He got me. It's because you forced me to have a haircut. <laughs> I won! Look at him! Ugh. He's smart again, he's had his hair cut. Right, back to it. We've just reverted back to using the, uh, the vibrator. We have been using just a piece of rebar to tamp it, tamp it down. But uh, we thought, seeing as we're using this uh, good strong mix now, that we would um, use a vibrator to get into all the places. And uh, I think it works. We'll just give it a, a couple of vibrates and then um, stop because as you can see, it's oozing all out of the wall. Where tamping basically just dampens the wall as it, as it eases through. So I'm not sure whether it's a bit over the top or not. So next day, um, yesterday we finished all the, the first six blocks, filled them all um, and I'm just going to take these two little forms off to see if it actually worked. I nearly forgot um, we are putting in a couple of uh, driveway lights so I had to remove one of the, the block. Um, cut this little block out, and we're just putting in this conduit. Uh, he's heavy. Looks okay. Yeah, get the others in. Just putting a couple of ties around it. Keep it in place. is weird doing first fix electrics at this stage of the build but uh, yeah you've got to think of everything right up front if not it'll be too late and I've stuck this one right at the end because we do plan to put carry this wall further along up here so it'll be a shorter retaining wall and uh, we'll want similar lights going along there and Julie is bribing the dogs with biscuits. Only because there's a dog walking past at the top. <laughs> These very expensive leathery suede gloves are not very good for uh, block work. <laughs> look at them. Oh my god, you look like Edward Scissorhands. So, if there's any uh, recommendations what's a good glove for block work or <laughs> masonry let us know oh uh, my god you this is like the second time i've done this Ian, you do look daft well i haven't got any more come here come here oh he's a good sausage hey you good little sausage <coughs> Mm. 
the gloves better. Yeah. Oh, I've left half of it in there. <laughs> come to realize that um, it's near impossible to get every single um, course of block work straight uh, there's tiny little imperfections in some of the blocks and because there's no mortar between them like I said earlier you can't uh, balance it out so we're, we're trying to get them as square and nice looking as possible and then we will cap it off with a nice flat straight bit of concrete on top and that's the way they do it that's the way they uh, recommend and um, all of the face all the face of this block work is going to be uh, rendered um, stuccoed I think they call it and in French it's uh, crepied so uh, that will all be all be covered up and inside the garage we'll then have OSB on the uh, on the inside right one well two more little rows here and that's it block work done oh can't wait we're getting to the final row of block and Julie is a little too short now so we're just uh, tying in the five well no it's not the final we've got one more bit of rebar on the top no no that's it for rows that's the final height And what I do with the, the cuts, I, uh, I form the little indent and that'll give me a good seal for the, you know, the, the concrete inside. All right, let's get him on. Drum roll. Um. Yay! We did it. It's on. Oh, well done, Ian. I've got to fill them, but... <laughs> It looks finished. Yeah. Wow. So that is the edge of our garage. So the garage steel work will sit on top of this. 10.2 to the end and we need 10.1 which is there. But I just want a little bit of flat bit in front of the pad where the, uh, the steel structure is going to start. I don't want it starting right on the edge. Sausage cuddle time. Okay. Floki is so affectionate. Floki! <laughs> He's worn out. Yeah, I'm me. <laughs> right, two seconds rest, and then we've got to tidy up all these blocks, put them on the pallet, and we're ready for tomorrow. If we can get out of bed. Mm. Ooh, arms ache. Somebody's feeling happy. First time back in the field. This might not mean a lot to others, but to me, this tells me my little Tyson's okay. I've waited six weeks for him to do this. Who's been in your field? <laughs> you silly old man. He knows there's been another horse in his paddock. Right, next day I'm down here very early. Um, you saw yesterday that we uh, did all the block work. Now I've got to fill it and uh, I'm going to bang that out today. I'm going to get it all done today to allow it a couple of dry, a uh, couple of days to dry out because um, we're going to have some really warm weather. So next weekend is supposed to be 30 degrees. It'll be November. 30 degrees in November is ridiculous. But that will help us get all the wool dried out so we can uh, start on the waterproofing. 
Long day today. See how it goes. We have finally finished. The estimates were quite good though. Um, we used uh, six and a half pallets of block, which was 390 blocks. Uh, and luckily on our second order, we added one extra pallet of blocks, which made it seven in total, but we haven't used all that pallet, but yeah. we did need to take some from that. Because one of the pallets yeah. of blocks, so I think I mentioned before, was pretty bad quality and uh, like it that. messed up all our lines. We used four and a half tons of gravel and three tons of sand, 30 bags of cement, and the cement is 35 kilos a bag. And that made up uh, 60 concrete mixes with our little mixer and all done by hand. So we had to fill the whole wall with those little black buckets. Uh, the top, top courses were quite difficult. We had to uh, pass a bucket up to me standing on a platform, but um, we did it all right. We had one little issue though. Um, one of the blocks, well, when I was vibrating it with the concrete vibrator, it hit the top of the block mm -hmm. and basically split the block in two. Um, so the blocks exploded out. Um, I've hammered the hell out of it to try and get it back in, but, um, oh well. It looks okay. It's minute either side. It, it's not something major. Yeah. It's not sticking out or anything. It's just that Ian's a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to things. Ian's testing the strength of the wall. Is it going to hold? It should be alright. <laughs> it looks solid. It's hard work. <laughs> oh my goodness. For all of Ian's calculations that he did for quantities, the one thing we did not calculate for was the amount of physical strength and how it, we would, we've been shattered doing yeah, this. Yeah, the effort, because um, uh, every mix basically takes four buckets of gravel, three buckets of sand and half a bag of cement. So all of that's got to be shoveled into the buckets Lift, him up, lift the buckets out into the cement mixer, into the wheelbarrow, pushed and then, across, and then we have to shovel out the manually. cement. Well, mm. not shovel out. We've got to scoop it out with a bucket yeah. to put into the wall. And so we're, yeah. we're double touching that concrete all the time. Yeah, I mean, just the effort of getting it over there and then scooping it up in the bucket mm. and passing it up to Ian to pour down every block and then with the rebar dig, 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 yeah. dig, oh, we, we started off using the uh, vibrator yeah. and, and that worked quite good it pushed quite a lot of the uh, the liquid out but when i hit that block i had to stop yeah we got nervous at that point we thought oh okay we'll just go back take a little bit like it takes longer with the rebar but we know that it's going down we can physically feel with the rebar but Honestly, hand on heart, every morning we have crawled out of our bed like little old OAPs. We're not OAPs, but we felt it. <laughs> Don't you dare. We felt it this past this past week or two doing this walk. Oh my goodness. Goodness. It's uh, hard work. 